Our next two uh, iterator slash closure methods are called any and all. And these are super convenient, as you, uh, you might be able to guess. Uh, you can probably guess what they do as well. Any, it, uh, it returns, uh, it gives you a bool and uh, test to see if anything matches what, uh, what you want it to be. And then, um, or what you tell Rust to, uh, to look for. And then all will give you true if everything matches that. And if not, then it gives you false. And uh, because they're so similar, I have a, uh, I have a single example that uses them both. Um, they're super easy to remember too. So we are just going to look at this, uh, at this example that I put together. So we are putting together a, uh, a vec of chars. So uh, we're going to have a char vec, which is a, uh, a reference to a vec of chars. So we're going to uh, put that in and then we're going to check against a character and we're going to see you know, what's inside there. And by the way, uh, you, can, uh, you can compare um, one char against another because they each have a, they each have a number. And you can do, you know, B is, uh, is it less than, uh, well, not God, that's supposed to be Korean. Uh, there you go, this, uh, this hang character. And we're going to see, is it less than this on the, you know, the big list of uh, Unicode characters? And the answer is true. This one is way, you know, it's a way higher, higher number than, uh, than a simple B. So uh, we're going to take advantage of that uh, when we're doing our uh, comparison. So we're going to say, well, first we're going to do is something inside something. So we're going to, this is going to be an any, right? Because, um, you know, if one thing matches, then it's going to return true. So we'll have a you know, check. Um, you know, we're going to print this character here. So it is like a inside whatever. And then we're going to uh, char vec. Um, actually, should be there inside that and then true or false so charvec uh, and then we're going to uh let's go down here iter uh now that we have an iterator we're going to uh throw any in there and so what we are going to do um actually let's put a uh, char there first so you can see what happens and then we're going to say uh char equals check so um it's going to uh you know, compare the two. Uh, this is the uh, the situation we're giving it, and then uh, if any of this matches, then it's going to give us a true. Um, now this will actually end up being this, but uh, we'll look at the at the message to uh, to understand that. So we'll uh, we'll make a char back. And one other super convenient thing about uh, Rust is you can uh, let's see, you can make uh, an iterator out of uh, just a, a range like this. So what did I have in the example I had? Hataraku. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we will collect into a vec of chars, or we can just say a vec of, you figure it out, which will be a vec of chars. And then we're going to, uh, and then we're going to use this in char vec. And we're going to look, uh, look inside it. So uh, in char vec, and uh, what do we have? Let's see if it has an I. So this will, just to make sure that we understand. So the, here we're calling the function uh, where we put in the uh, this this vec and of you know a whole bunch of characters from A all the way up to this uh, Japanese character, and then uh, we're going to see if I is inside there. So let's see if it is. And there you go. Here's the uh, the thing I mentioned. You know, partial leak is not implemented for reference to char. So uh, what you can do is uh, pass this over. And now we're comparing uh, the same types to each other, a, a reference to a reference. And then it says, is I inside? Well, that's true. So let's uh, let's try another one. I, uh, I have some other fun characters here. So uh, this is uh, the... They used to be famous uh, Korean bait, and then uh, this is uh, another character, Nori, it means a uh, chisel. And we'll see if uh, they're contained inside <clears throat> this big vec of chars. And these ones, you can see, no, they come after. 
So, uh, you know, nothing matched. So it went through the whole VEC and it, uh, it checked everyone. And um, at the end it said, okay, nothing, nothing matches. So, uh, so we get a false and we get a false there as well. And then um, at the very end, we're going to, uh, now we're going to do, let's see, all. So let's see, all alphabetic. Actually, I uh, I have some more things I want to talk about all. So uh, I'm going to stop right here. Um, and then uh, we're going to, because uh, I have an extra example for all. So anyway, that is how any works.